There's new developments tonight in the case of missing 14-year-old Amber Dubois. In an affidavit released by authorities, Amber's Internet use is examined, specifically the week before she went missing. San Diego 6's Jenny Hamill spoke one-on-one -on -one with Amber Dubois' mother about these newly released details. I would like confirmation. Yes, she's been chatting online with people who are investigating these people. Amber Dubois' mother says now that authorities have a search warrant to go into her daughter's Yahoo email account, she wants answers. But the missing teen's mom says she's very skeptical of what two of Amber's friends told detectives. In a search warrant affidavit, they claim that Amber told them she was online and talking to boys. Kids are kids. They, you know, they, they like to exaggerate. You know, they... Like I said, I'll be surprised if it's true. The affidavit states that Amber's Yahoo ID is wolf in the end and states that the 14-year-old's Internet use had spiked in the week prior to her disappearance. It also states that one parent saw Amber with a dark-complected male when she was last seen near school. If the whole team is not ready to come back. Family friend Joe Peters debriefed some new search volunteers. Peters says he wouldn't be shocked if Amber were chatting with boys online. I wouldn't rule out anything, um, but I, I would be surprised that that was uh, a major factor. Escondido resident Cecilia Vendor says she's been following Amber's disappearance from day one and is following her gut. That uh, somebody took her, that uh, it doesn't seem like um, she would have been the type of child to just run away. Meanwhile, Amber's mom sends a message to Amber in the hope she may be listening. She's really smart. I would tell her to use her brain and get away. And you're looking for her. Yeah, I love her. In Escondido, Jenny Hamill, San Diego 6 News. Escondido police are calling Amber's case a missing juvenile case rather than a runaway or an abduction. Amber's parents say the number of volunteers has dropped this past week and are hoping more people will help in the search to find Amber.